The truth is that from heaven they're assisting us in every moment of our lives to connect ourselves in deeper ways and in very, very meaningful um, aspects to the real treasure that been given to every single one of us as a heavenly present from above and people are so disconnected from their true potential and by that losing so much from what they can earn and achieve in this lifetime and it's very very important for everyone to be brave and to throw himself into the deepest water that he can throw himself into and just to go and look for those treasures that you've been blessed with one person is able to put so much heart into his prayers that he's able to express his feelings and his needs and his requests in such wonderful way that no one else in the world is able to do that. Another person is able to sit and to write his thoughts and to express ideas in novels, in books, in articles in ways that no one else in the world is able to. Another person in meetings with other people, he can open his heart and he can be honest and he's able to share from things, from his life experience. I had a friend once that he told me he was a great scholar that learned for many, many years in the yeshiva. And he told me so many times you're quoting uh, sources that, that I'm familiar with, I know them all, but I don't know how to put them in the right order like you do when you give your speeches. And this is a blessing and everyone is blessed with, with his own individual blessing. And we must believe in ourselves and to believe in ourselves it's mean to believe that when we are honest and finding who we are, that we will go with it all the way and not going to stop. We're talking so many times and we're yearning and hoping and praying for a salvation to come, for the redemption to take place in our lives. But meanwhile, everyone are busy with their fears with their anxieties, with their pressure. Oh, I need to go to sleep early. I have my next day at work tomorrow. What I'm going to do? I have to do this. I have to do that. And by that, cutting the wings of ourselves, canceling and throwing away all of our dreams and hopes, giving up on all of our wonderful wishes but that's the main mistake that a person can fall into not to understand and not to realize that the creator sent you for that purpose that you will make change in the world that you will rise to higher levels than that level that you hold today and that you will make life meaningful that you will take life seriously and that you will do the best that you can to make something out of this lifetime. To save lives of as many people as you're able to. To make as many moments of your life joyful and satisfying. To fulfill your own dreams. And not to give up on your own hopes. And for that a person should be a real hero. A real soldier. To decide I'm not going to back off. I'm not going to go away. I'm not going to give up on my dreams. I'm not going to fall to that black swamp of bitterness and, 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 and just going to melt into my own sadness. It's in your power to make those changes. 
It's in your power to change the world. It's in your power to take responsibility and to work on yourself, to fix yourself, and to do as much as you can to improve, to have good attributes, to control yourself, to hold back all your horses, all your bad attributes, all your bad manners, all your anger, your sadness, your depression, all, 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 all the negative manners and way of behavior that, that you fell into and to make a big change in your life and to become a better person, to be nice, to be kind, to be a real true believer, to stand in front of the Creator for hours and hours, for long, long hours and to demand our salvation. Always the evil inclination, the Yetzirara, is rejecting us and pushing us to have low self-esteem, not to believe in ourselves, to think that we are worthless, that we are hopeless, that we're never going to make it, that we're not righteous enough, that we're not pure enough, that we're not strong enough, that we're not wealthy enough, that we're not accepted enough, that we're not smart enough, that we're not I don't know what. With all your lackings, you are a godly soul. All your lackings are lacking in a physical body that is only a shape and a figure. It's only a broken vessel. It's like a wick of the candle that holds the flame. Not everything depends in that wick. Not everything depends in your vessel. The vessel is only an answer for you, for your negative thoughts that cannot believe that you can live only on the Spirit and on the words of God. And you think that you need to eat and you think that you need to have a healthy body. But in reality, you don't have to have those things. The Creator can make you alive and powerful and strong even if your body is broken, even if your, your, your wallet is empty. Even if they close your bank account and even if you're homeless in the street, you don't know how powerful and strong you can become if you're going to aim your heart with the power of prayer, with the power of your intention to make positive changes in the world and it depends in you. It depends in your decision. If you will decide to take that path and to work hard, you're going to harvest with joy. But if in every intersection, every challenge, every difficulty, you're going to let yourself down, down on yourself, criticizing yourself, being hard on yourself. Oh, look, you didn't woke up today. You didn't do this today. You didn't finish what you promised yourself you're going to. Oh, you did it again. And look what happened now. You just break your own happiness. You are cutting the branch that you're sitting on for no reason. You can be amazing and fantastic if you will just allow yourself to be that one. Force yourself to positivity. Force yourself to rise your self-esteem, to be a high self-esteem. And not based on imagination, based on good points that you really have inside of yourself, of your true self. If you want people to be happy, so recognize that quality in you and be happy with the fact that you want people to be happy. Even if you don't know how to make people happy, just the fact that you care. Do you know how many people couldn't care less if you're going to be happy or not? How many people couldn't care less if the world will be fixed or not? You have people that accept of, of their lusts, their desires and their fears. They don't care about anything. They don't want you to succeed. They couldn't care less if you're going to or not, if you're going to fail. Like It doesn't trouble their mind. But you are a different person because you do care and you do love people and you do want people to succeed. So at least be happy. That's the beginning to be aware to your power, to your true potential, that you are a beautiful, wonderful creation of the Creator that is holding a portion of heaven from above. And that's the light of your soul that is shining big time in the world and you must force all your fears to surrender to your free choice and to choose properly to make positive changes in the world and to go and to save others. If you want to connect yourself to the Creator, it's not a crazy m method. 
There is no complex things that you need to do for that. You need from the most simple things in life to attach yourself in every moment to the truth. Because God is the God of truth. Hashem Elohim Emet. And if you want to be connected to Him, you need to be connected to Him with truth. And what is truth? <coughs> truth is reality. Truth is the most simple thing that exists in this world. Let's say that there was an argument now and one person insulted the other and he hurt his feeling. That's the truth. That's the truth. He can claim that he didn't do it with the right inten with intention, that it happened by mistake. But in reality, what that happened, happened in reality. You need to attach yourself to that. What does it mean? It means that if there was that argument, you need to attach yourself to the side of truth of it. So if you saw someone that hurt someone else, you need to protect the weak. You need to stand up for that one that been hurt. You need to stop that violent person from going and hurting others. That's your job. And you go and you do your job with a loyal heart, with an honest heart, with a pure intention. And by that you are pulling on yourself the blessing of God, that God is the God of truth. And therefore His blessing will hover upon you, and will surround you, and will fill you, and will give you that boost of energy that is needed for your success. And you will succeed, because you followed the Creator's path of truth by being simply truthful and loyal. If someone been hurt, if some situation took place, you just need someone hurt you, someone insulted you, someone rebuked you, someone threatened your life, someone told you some. You need to connect yourself to that situation with truth. Means connect yourself to the real reality. What really happened right now? What really happened? Not what I can lose if I'm going to say this, or what might happen if I'm going to say yes or no. No, no. What really just happened? Was I right or was I wrong? Was I honest or I just failed big time? If you failed, you need to fix. If you messed up, you need to take responsibility. If you did something wrong, you have an opportunity to come back to heaven and to do tshuva and to pray to the Creator to assist you and to help you. And as long as you walking and marching on that path of truth, you are rising and climbing to new destinies, to higher levels and from one step to the next, you reaching the heights. You're climbing to places that no eye ever saw before and it is in your power to become one with the Creator, that all the power that He has can be affected on you, can be given to you for you to go and make wonders in the world with, when you'll get that key, when your loyalty will become a symbol of your existence, when your honesty will be known to all, then the Creator will choose you to give you all the power and all the energy that is needed for you to accomplish all your goals and that all your dreams will come true, yours and all your loved ones. And you should count on your true self and to follow the inner light of your soul and never to be scared again. Like the verse is saying, Lo taguru mipne ish. We should not be afraid of no man, of no man. Who you think that man is that you'll be scared of? You should not be scared of no man. Man is in the hand of the Creator like clay. If he will want, he will lift you. If he will want, he will shove that person down the drain to the lowest place of them all that he will never be able to hurt a fly. If the Creator chose you, he will rise you. He will take you to the highest places and will make you joyful and glad. And you'll succeed, but it depends in your honesty, in your good attributes, in your free choice, what you're going to choose, what you're going to do with your time, what you're going to do with your money, what you're going to do with your wisdom, what you're going to do with the blessings that you've been blessed with, your talents and your power, what you're going to do with all your life experience, will you share it with others? Will you be nice and kind to help and to assist? 
By being honest, you become an example to many others that can follow the light of your soul and find themselves in that journey of connecting themselves to the Creator from a point of truth, from an honest place, and by that finding the real Hashem, the real Creator of the universe. Many people can describe the Creator in many forms, can dress Him and cover Him with all kinds of customs and, and forms that the power of their imagination will supply. But it does not mean that that is the real Creator. Real Creator, there is only one. Real Truth, there is only one. And when you are being honest and truthful, you're finding it within. And you should follow that inner sense of yours to recognize the truth within the truth that can be recognized mean that when you are truthful you know that you are when you're honest you know that you are follow that truth and don't lie to yourself to pretend to be a person of truth when you know that you make discounts to yourself don't make discounts don't give up on the truth not for your fears not for your weaknesses not for your lusts and desires, not for your anger and bad temper. Be strong to be a true person that is being truthful and honest always, that is able to admit his mistakes and to do tshuva and to come back to heaven and not to hide his sins, just to be proud of who you really are and to be strong and to be powerful and to reveal the loving kindness that is treasured inside of you, and to let the light of your soul shine with no end, with no end, because we have an enormous power, and we're just so low in our self-esteem. We went to such a low place, disrespecting ourselves, and not appreciating ourselves, forgot all about our blessings, our talents, and our abilities, lost the inner energy of our true existence in the journey of 2000 years and more of dark and thick exile. But when you will fight and swim against the stream to recognize the beauty and glory of your soul, of your spirit, you'll be able to find out that inside your spirit there is an entrance through a very wide gate to an endless spring of goodness, of a blessing, of endless power that can change nature completely and can bring complete redemption to the whole wide world and it's in your power. And you need to pull that energy and to channel that light to your destinies, to your hometown, to your community, to your house, to the ones who listens to you. And you need to force that light to come out from your mouth, from your hands, from your eyes. When you breathe, you need to breathe Hashem into the picture. When you talk, you need to talk Hashem into the picture. When you talk to someone, you need to put that seed of truth into his heart. Not to force it, just to bless it. To allow that person to be who he is and to recognize the spark of life that is shining from his eyes, from his spirit. And if you will do that, everyone around you will wake up to find the truth and to recognize their life soul that lives inside of them. And they will become a new center that is surrounding itself with light and affect others that depends in them. And that's how the circles grow and that's how the light is expanding. And there is no end to those circles to overpower all power of darkness, all power of evil, to overpower all darkness and all sadness off from this world. And that no bad and no sadness, no pain will take place in this world ever again. It's in our power and it's in the power of our free will and our decision to follow our inner understanding of who we are, godly souls that are connected from within 
with the endless source of life, God himself, the creator, he sent me to you to redeem you. That's what he told Moses. And we should follow our ancestors to hold ourselves, to hold ourselves to faith, the most stable pillars of faith that the universe knew. We should believe in ourselves and to fulfill our dreams and to achieve our goals and to bring the redemption together for the sake of all our loved ones. Amen. Can you hear it, son? Believe in your power of prayer. Amen. The world is not existing because Olam Milchon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shikra, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. Thank you.